Jasper, can I help you? Hi, buddy. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Jasper, your elbows. You want to go for a walk? Yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's see what the weather's like. Yup, looks like Vancouver. So a few of you guys in my apartment tour video asked how I managed to keep my place so clean and tidy and some tips. And you know, I wanna say 90% or maybe like 95% of the times it does stay like that. However, it still gets like this sometimes. We've got exhibit A, exhibit B, exhibit C. We've got exhibit D, we've got exhibit a, B, C, D, E, exhibit E. This doesn't happen very often. I uh, just had a friend over yesterday, but uh, this, yeah, this is not okay. But before that, we gotta give Jasper some tummy rubs. You want some tummy rubs, buddy? Hi, hello. All right, let's go for a walk, and then we can tidy up, okay? All right, let's go. All right, buddy, before we go, we gotta run Richard. Where is it? Where is he? Where is he? Where's Richard? There he is. Oh, Jasper, come here. I know. You know. <laughs> Hi. You want to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? All right, let's go. All right, so in this video, I want to talk about how I've been incorporating time blocking into my life for the past like six to seven years and some of the minimalism principles I've kind of integrated into my time blocking um, so that maybe you know, you guys can start doing it as well. Or just take like little bits and pieces of it and just stop, make it work for you. Hey, hi buddy. Oh, Jasper, you're so gross. Hi. All right, let's go back home. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Get out of here. Get out of here. Jasper, go. <laughs> the main benefit I think of living in a studio apartment is the ease and quickness of cleaning Like I could clean this entire apartment in less than 10 minutes and there you have it So yeah, when you don't have a lot of stuff, you just can't make that much of a mess. Isn't that right Jasper? All right Jasper, you have a good sleep while I go to the gym, okay? <laughs> okay, all right, buddy. I'm leaving. Can you sit? Can you pound it? <laughs> good job. All right. Bye, buddy. Have a good sleep. <laughs> Grande Pike. Oh, I just got our cup in here. Thanks. Did I get some uh, ice cubes in there as well? Thank you. Hello. Hi, hey, where's my present? Jasper, go get my present. <laughs> just wagging his tail in my clean dishes. Where's my present? Where's my present? Jasper? It's up here. Go get it. Hey, it's up here. Go get it. He doesn't get the present. Oh, here's my present. You know, I don't know why I keep getting the pike at Starbucks. It tastes like burnt doo-doo water. But you know me, I'm a slave to the caffeine. Anyways, let me stop. So I think the best way to talk about time blocking is actually show you guys how I do it uh, and just talk you guys through my thought process on why I do certain things. So I've been personally using Google Calendar synced up with my Apple Calendar for the past many, many years now, since my first year of university. Now, the reason I use the Apple Calendar is just so that it syncs across between all of my devices from my laptop, iPad, had phone, watch, and it just works very seamlessly. I know that some people prefer to use like a, just like an in-person written journal or planner. You know, I'm just way too clumsy of a person. I will either lose it, forget about it, damage it somehow. And you know, once it's gone, it's gone. Plus I don't like the fact that you can't send or request invites because I am that annoying ass friend that will literally send you an invite to go grab coffee. And yes, if you don't accept the invite, I'm not going, so you better accept the invite. So once you decide on the platform you're gonna use, next up you have to pick the categories that you're actually gonna be time blocking for. Now obviously this is gonna depend on what you have going on in your life. When I was in university, I had each of the classes separated into different calendars so I could easily see it, you know, because it would be color coded, see the different exam dates, when the paper 
papers were due, etc. When I was really focusing on my freelancing career, I had different things for like emails, calls, meetings, shoots, edits, etc. Um, if you're a stay-at-home mom, if you're working nine to five, it's all going to depend. I've been recently watching Thomas Frank's Productivity Masterclass on Skillshare, and he calls these categories life buckets, things like exams, classes, just general things you have going on in your life. So no matter what you call it, um, you just have to pick the categories that pertain to your current lifestyle. Speaking of Skillshare, a special thank you to Skillshare for continuously sponsoring this channel and allowing me to create content for you guys. If you guys haven't heard of Skillshare before, Skillshare is an online learning community where you can learn hundreds of different things, where you can explore, create, and collaborate with different people. They offer tons of different classes that are actually like designed for real life use. Plus the best thing is that you can actually learn at your own pace. Everything is set up. You can see like the total duration of the entire class. Um, plus they have it clearly laid out into different categories so that you can can focus on what you are interested in. I would highly recommend checking out Thomas Franks' class on creating custom system that works for you because it really goes into like the nitty gritty of setting everything up. I've also taken classes on creating like handwritten animations on the iPad and they also have classes on taking care of plants. And as you guys can tell, uh, that is very, very important. Skillshare is also very affordable with an annual subscription being less than $10 per month. Plus you guys can check out the link below for a free two months of a premium membership. Once again, thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So once you have your life buckets created, you really have to be intentional and prioritize what goes into your calendar first. And being intentional is the main reason I got into minimalism. It wasn't about the aesthetic or the movement. It was just so that I can remove the distractions so I can really focus on what I wanted to. And I'm sure you guys have all seen the analogy of you have like two jars and you have like sand and little rocks and big rocks. But if you try to fit everything at the same time together, it's not going to fit. You have to put in like the big rocks first, then the medium, then pour the sand over and that's how you're gonna make it fit. So it's pretty much the same. Um, personally for myself, I moved to Vancouver recently to really, really focus on my YouTube channel. So that is exactly what I'm gonna put in first. So first I'm gonna put into the calendar uh, the videos that I'm gonna create. And I said that I'm going to do two videos per week and that is going to happen. Um, so I put it all the way to the top so that I can see it. Uh, all of the top events just means that it's an all day event. So it's not necessarily something that's gonna happen between like nine to 11 or something like that. It's just gonna happen on that day. And then next for the channel, we have to do some writing. So I'm just gonna put a W. So when it comes to anything regarding like the creative process, the writing involves like brainstorming, just thinking of ideas for the video and actually kind of uh, thinking about what the actual vlog will look like. So that whole planning process takes a lot longer than you think. Um, you really can't get that done in an hour or two. So I usually like to block off four to six hours, something like that. So let's block that off. And then same thing for, you know, the recording that might happen within a few hours, um, possibly on that day, and then bleeds over into the next, whatever happens. Uh, and then editing and uploading takes another few hours as well. Um, so edit, upload, EU, that is typically what my planning process for YouTube videos look like. That is for a Tuesday video. Sometimes, you know, let's say the writing is a lot shorter for a Friday video, it kind of happens like on the go. Um, so that means it's just gonna be a lot more recording time um, on that Thursday and usually tends to bleed into the actual day that I'm posting as well. Uh, and then edit and upload. I can usually edit a vlog in about two, three hours at this point. Next up, we have the things that we really have to do. Now for me, that includes walking Jasper because I'm the only one that takes care of him. Um, so I try to walk him at least one and a half hours to two hours every single day. So I'm gonna space that out evenly between all of the days and really try to space it out. And a lot of the times when I'm recording, I'm also like walking Jasper. I edit a lot of the times either at a coffee shop or at home um, so that either I can take Jasper with me to the coffee shop, walk him there, and then time up outside if the weather is nice, or I just work from home, spend time with him, 
Uh, and then when I need more of like a stretching break, uh, I just take him as well. All right, so for myself, next thing I got is just training some clients. So I recently started training clients again, part-time, uh, about 10, 15-ish hours a week. So obviously that's something I have to do. Um, so, da, 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 clients. Uh, and then obviously I would put in like the actual name of the clients uh, and then just kind of block them off whenever they have their appointments. Uh, now, because I am doing this part time, thankfully, I don't have like uh, a crazy normal personal trainers schedule. My Monday mornings are kind of rough because I do teach like a 6 a.m. class. So I have to get up very early, walk Jasper, teach and then come back and walk Jasper again. Um, but that's what you got to do. We're in that hustle, you know, I also make sure that Jasper doesn't stay at home alone for more than five hours. You know, he's perfectly fine being home alone. However, I just don't feel good about it in my soul. Um, so if those days do happen, I do have a membership at a doggy daycare that I can leave him in for up to 14 hours per day. So let's say on a Tuesday, it's a very busy recording day. Um, I'll just change that to drop drop off Jasper, and then the next one being pick up Jasper. That way, um, you know, I just don't have to worry about walking him throughout the day if I have a full day of meetings, editing, etc. Another thing you really have to consider is removing distractions. Uh, that goes hand in hand with minimalism, is that a lot of people are going to wanna to chat grab coffee, pick your brain, etc. cetera. Um, and that's great. Like I love hanging out with my friends and just chatting about absolutely nothing or everything. Um, but you really have to be intentional. You know, if you get a call from your buddies, they wanna get white girl wasted uh, on a Tuesday night and you have clients Wednesday morning, is that the best thing? Or, you know, you see that Monday night, they wanna get white girl wasted, but you have a full day of filming, editing, and recording Tuesday. So you just really have to prioritize what you wanna focus on, uh, because there's no way you can fit everything into your week. Hence why I really enjoy time blocking, because it's just a very clear way you can visualize different aspects of your life. So, you know, let's just put in some coffee meetings. We can put it into our recording because maybe that's a portion of the vlog. So meaning that like, you know, just because it's an R doesn't mean it's completely blocked off for you to be alone. Obviously it's a vlog, so you have to find things to put in it. Um, so coffee, three times a week, very normal for me. And it's honestly more of like a social aspect for me. It's not like I need caffeine in my blood at least three times a week from a bougie specialty pour over coffee shop. No, it's more of like, I like going to a new novel place and you know, chilling with my friends. So there is that, prioritize. Another thing I obviously put into my life is my fitness, so I have a separate category for it. So I'm currently taking like a temporary break from CrossFit because the new CrossFit gym um, in my neighborhood hasn't opened yet. Um, so I'm just going back to like a typical bodybuilding split, uh, which is honestly have been pretty fun. So it's an upper one and an upper two and a lower day. Uh, and you know, I can kind of break it up into wherever in terms of, you know, sometimes I get my best ideas during a workout for some reason. And also, you know, a part of my vlog may have recording and the filming. So there is a lot of overlap with just the nature of what I do. Uh, but I mean, obviously you just have to make it work for you. And then I have a lower day. I personally really enjoy visualizing it so that I can see, oh, I did do upper one on this day. Maybe I should give my shoulders a little bit break this time. Um, and just, oh, that is not gonna work. Upper one, hmm, let's just fit it into my filming. See, if you see that the it's not going to work, I'm gonna have to either wake up at 5 a.m., go for my workout before I walk Jasper, um, or do it at the very evening. I'd rather get up early. Um, so that's, you know, kind of my thought process between how I juggle things around. Um, you have your main priority, then you have the things you have to do and you have to just, you have to make it work. That's just really why I like time blocking. Now, before I used to be very like, you know, very, very specific. I would also include like transportation time. I would incorporate eating time. I would incorporate chilling time. But instead of like sectioning off chill, you know, relax. I just prefer to leave it blank because 
visually when I look at something and it has a color, I just associate it with me doing something. So I'd rather just leave it blank so that I know that I have space to breathe. If I just look at a full calendar with just everything is packed with colors, I don't know, it just doesn't sit right with me. <laughs> and kind of continuing on from that point, the last thing I think is very important with time blocking is allowing yourself to be very flexible because in life, what I've learned is that nothing happens according to your plan. You can plan out your entire week, but shit's gonna happen. Your car's gonna break, whatever. Like shit happens all the fucking time. So there's no point in being super anal with it. And like, this is how my week is gonna run. Like, it's just not gonna happen that way. But the most of the times it is gonna happen that way, but you can't be so set on that because the second it doesn't happen, then it's just gonna throw your entire week out of order. So you have to learn to be very flexible. So I create my calendar on the go, obviously, as I create new appointments, as I create new meetings, etc. cetera. Um, but you just have to be okay with shifting things around. And what I really like about using this Google Calendar system is that you can just shift, reduce, um, things to make it work for you. All right, so that is pretty much it for this video. That is how I've been using time blocking for the past many, many years now and kind of how I incorporated aspects of minimalism into my time blocking. Um, so now if this entire system like stresses you out and just looking at my calendar gives you anxiety, you know, maybe the system isn't for you. Maybe you are more of that go with the flow kind of mentality and you prefer not having a calendar. If you guys saw my series of where I like lived in my car and traveled to Tofino without a plan or without my calendar or having anything like set in stone, I did learn a lot about just being flexible and yeah, going with the flow. There is aspects where you have to just, you know, be balanced as cheesy as it sounds you do have to incorporate both aspects but i just wanted to show you a system that works really well for me once again thank you skillshare for sponsoring this video other than that if you guys have any questions leave them down below uh, if you guys enjoyed this video give it a quick thumbs up share with your friends and family and remember to be less shitty thank you guys for watching